Hello fellow haters of the blue and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to paint light wood very easily. Let's get cracking. So as always I have the staff base coated. In this case I'm using English uniform from Vallejo. Um, if you wanted to use Citadel there isn't really any color that matches but I don't know, something between Steel Legion Drab and Sundry Dust will do the job. So for our first step, I will apply some lines with Usapti Bone. These lines are to simulate the wood green. It's obviously easier if you paint the wood before you do all the other things around it, but I'm not very clever. We have the septic bone applied, and as you can see, you don't have to be neat. Just draw some 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 lines along the length of the staff. It may look a bit um, too much, like a bit uh, too stark at the moment, but we are going to take care of that right now. We are going to apply a glaze using a Vallejo a Gaming Brown and Lamia Medium in a one part of ink and two parts of medium. So apply this heavily. Be careful of course if you have all the other things around painted. Apply it kind of in a mix between a glaze and a wash. So with the glaze of the brown ink all done, I will go back to Shepty Bone and draw those lines again. This time I do want this time I do want to be neat and careful. Try to make the lines thinner than the previous step. And now, with the second application of Septi Bone, it's time to move to the last step. And that is a highlight of Palette Witch Flesh. Uh, make sure the Palette Witch Flesh is a bit diluted so it flows nicely, doesn't cover too much. it lightly, building up the highlights where you think the wood would need to be brighter. Don't go, we dilute this so we don't go too far. It's better to apply it a couple of coats. And with that last highlight of palette with flesh, the wood is finished. If this would have some edges, like it would be square or have some hard edges, I would probably go with palette with flesh on all the raised edges and probably do a dot of white in each corner, but as it is, this is tough. It doesn't have any edges. I call that finished. I really hope you like this tutorial and as always, I'll see you in the next one.